Times now accesses a secret annexure to a document circulated during a meeting in the Home Ministry in North Block in Delhi in 2007. This has never been revealed before. This secret annexure not just gives the names of various Pakistan-based terrorist groups as those responsible for these attacks, not so-called Hindu terror groups, but also the names of their Pakistani and Indian handlers. This is a Times Now exclusive. The debate over so-called Hindu terror groups has been raging for well over five years now. There is a recently uncovered phenomenon, saffron terrorism, that has been implicated in many bomb blasts of the past. UPA Sarkar ke Grih Mantri ne jo us samay statement diya tha aur jo unhone Hindu atankwad jaisi ek nayi terminology ka ijab kiya tha uske parinam swarup Pakistan ke Hafiz Shaheed ne Bharat Sarkar ke Grih Mantri ko badhai di badhai di thi hum aisi sarvana ki sthiti is desh mein kisi ki surat mein paida nahi hone denge Top Congress leaders have not just commented on it but lamented what they claimed was the rise of terror groups in India, having the Sangh Parivar link. When exactly did the Manmohan Singh government stumble upon Hindu terror? It's difficult to put a date line to it, but this would be anywhere between August 2010 and 2014. But this MHE note, exclusively accessed by Times Now, throws a completely new spin. This note gives details of 12 terror attacks that rocked the nation, including those which the Congress termed as Hindu terror. But what is shocking is that this note, prepared when Shivraj Patil was the Home Minister, specifically names the Lashkar-e Toiba, the Jayesh-e Mohammed and Simi as being responsible for the terror attacks but which was later blamed on Hindu terror groups. Let's go through the details. Somewhere in the last quarter of 2007, top intelligence bureau officials meet at the North Block and Times now is putting out verbatim the annexures of the meeting. Point 7 pertaining to Malegaon blast of 8 September 2006. Sub point 13 notes, according to the confessions, the accused persons belonging to Simi, a banned organization, the two arrested accused, namely, Shabir Masiullah and Sheikh Muhammad Ali Alam Sheikh had been sent to Pakistan for weapons training in 2006. Point 8, pertaining to the bomb blast in the Atari Samjota Express. Sub point 18 notes. Certain similarities between the Samjota Express blast and the Mecca Masjid blast have been noticed insofar as both use batteries of 6 volts and cast iron pipes, etc. Point 9 pertaining to the bomb blast of Mecca Masjid on 18th of May 2007. Sub point 22 notes. It's been gathered that Mohammad Shahid alias Bilal, a resident of Hyderabad and LET Jaish activist, was behind this incident and that the explosive was placed by one Hamza, alias Kanchan, alias Sharifuddin, a Bangladeshi who's also wanted in a case by Delhi police. Point 23 notes. It is suspected by the local police that this blast is the handiwork of Bangladesh-based Islamic militants with the help of local elements. No arrests have also been made so far in the investigation of the Mecca Masjid blast which is now with the CBI. Indications are that in both these blasts, Shahid Bilal, an LED slash Huji activist who is from Hyderabad and is presently supposed to be in Karachi and the combination of cadres of LED and Huji Bangladesh seem to be involved. Samjota Express. So what changed after 2007? It is possible that some fresh leads were found and that the whole investigation moved in a different direction. 
while it's not conclusive, this secret MHA annexure raises serious questions. If we were blindfolded to look in the other direction and not follow up on leads found way back then. Interestingly, this secret note matches with what the US said about the Samjata blast. How come in all four investigations which were leading in one direction, the developments moved in another? What happened to all the leads against the LUT, Simi and Jaisha Mohammad that MHA spoke of in 2007 and next year? Is there more to the fact that all leads from 2007 shifted in a completely different direction? Were all the leads incorrect in the 2007 annexure? The developments then moved in another direction. What about the roles of all those mentioned in the annexure? What was followed up on those leads? Did all the leads in the 2007 annexure and the investigations back then completely dry up? An investigative news report by Prema Devi.